friends, we are back in the kitchen for another recipe video and I'm so excited. I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite recipes right now. I'm super obsessed with it. This is a cacao malted frosty bowl. It's so delicious. It's sweet. It's creamy. It's dreamy. It's energizing yet grounding. It is excellent. I've been eating it just about every day right now, so <laughs> that's why I have to share it with y'all. I have to share my favorite recipes, so here we go. So everything is going into our handy dandy Vitamix. We've got about a cup and a half of homemade almond milk already in the Vitamix. I just made it. Check out that recipe video. It's super easy and so good. Worth it. So a cup and a half of almond milk. You could use a cup if you want this to be more of a nice cream, thicker texture. You could use more like two cups if you want it like super frosty, almost milkshake texture. So play around with the amounts and find what you like. So next I'm adding one tablespoon of maca powder and this is so delicious. It gives this its malty flavor. Now I've got two tablespoons of cacao powder. As you can see these are a bit heaping. More cacao means more chocolatey, less cacao would be more malty. So do what feels right. Next I've got four medjool dates that I'm gonna pit and add. And these are super ooey gooey, fresh California medjool dates from Seven Hot Dates. I will link in the description to the dates because they are the best. Now I've got seven smallish bananas here. You could do six, you could do eight, depends on your calorie needs. And again, the kind of texture you're going for. So I've added most of the bananas, but I don't want to overburn the Vitamix. So I've saved about one banana's worth here that I'll go ahead and blend this until it's nice and smooth and then I will add the rest. Yummy! It's all smooth and creamy, frosty yumminess right here. This came out to be about the perfect texture. So I'm just gonna pour it into my bowl. Now for the taste test. <laughs> it's so good. Y'all have to make this. It's like a, a Whopper, a chocolate, one of those chocolate malted milk balls. Oh, it's so good and raw and vegan and healthy and delicious and nutrient dense with all the superfoods. Now, what I like to do personally is if you like cacao nibs, this would be a great place to sprinkle a few of these babies on. But my all-time favorite companion food for this bowl is these Zahidi and Deglet Noor dates. And these are also from Seven Hot Dates. This is a firmer variety. So they're not as sweet and juicy as the Medjool dates. They're, they kind of give you like a like something to chew on. They're chewier and crunchier and they have more of like a nuanced nutty flavor. So I like to eat these with this and it's just like, y'all, it's total bliss. So buy your firm commitment box from Seven Hot Dates, y'all. I'm not an affiliate. No one's paying me to say this. Those dates are just really good. Alternatively, you could top this with some of my chocolate granola. I will show y'all that. So here's the chocolate granola. It is beautiful and delicious. It's got, um, it's a buckwheat base. So you can actually make this as a lower fat granola with less nuts. Um, I did add almonds and walnuts in it and that just gives it an awesome flavor and an awesome crunch. But the buckwheat actually gives it a really nice crunch and I make this in the dehydrator. 
Um, if you click the link in the description to my first recipe book, the Raw Food Ayurveda Volume 1, the recipe for chocolate granola is in this. And you can get that as an ebook for free or by donation. So what do you have to lose? <laughs> get the ebook. You can make this chocolate granola and you can have it with your frosty smoothie bowl and you will love it. So y'all, thanks for watching. Please like this video if you like it. Subscribe for more videos, more information, more recipes. And until next time, take care. Eat some amazing frosty smoothie. Love you. Namaste.